the Biden administration is uh, supposed to release the last of the long secret JFK assassination files this Thursday. And uh, our guest today, Lamar Waldron, is quite confident that the most important files will not be released. Uh, you, you recall when Trump was president, he was going to release the files, and then he didn't. And when Obama was president, he was going to release the files, and then he didn't. Uh, Lamar and I collaborated on two books about the JFK assassination, Ultimate Sacrifice and Legacy of Secrecy. Uh, each of those books is around 900 pages um, with hundreds of pages of footnotes. Notes. Uh, he has now been researching the JFK assassination steadily, consistently, almost full time for about 30 years. And he's got a new book out. It's called, relatively new, it's called The Hidden History of the JFK Assassination. It's only about 500 pages. So you want a nice, tight read that condenses all the work that Lamar and I did and that Lamar has continued to do all these years. Uh, that's how to get it, is The Hidden History of the JFK Assassination. You can find it where you find fine books. And uh, Lamar's been on the, on the program many times, but uh, today I want to get into some of the stuff that we've never discussed before. So, Lamar, you say you're 95% certain that uh, m numerous files are not going to be released this year uh, like the law requires. Why? Well, I'm 95% certain because most of the most important top secret files that your listeners are going to hear about, many of them for the first time today, they're not even in the pool of files that the uh, National Archives and Biden will be drawing from. In other words, the fix was in starting back in the 1990s. Oh. So in other words, there's a pool of still secret JFK assassination files at the National Archives. Is there some good stuff in there? Sure. Especially since among the FBI files, I think there, there are thousands of their files. The vast majority of those withheld files are mafia related. But m the most important files, like, like, like the Marcello confession tapes and transcripts, where, like I say, clearest confession of Marcello was in the prison yard, but he talked about other people involved with the assassination. And, and some of that is definitely on those tapes and transcripts. They're not even in that pool. You know, the, the National Archives doesn't have those records. Those records are at, are at either the FBI's secret fi uh, 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 special file room in Washington at FBI headquarters where they keep their most – some of their most top secret files, and they have so many secret files, the FBI had to rent a warehouse in Maryland. And so, and so those tapes and transcripts are either in Maryland, I'm betting they're in that special file room, or somewhere at FBI headquarters, because they don't want that stuff to get out. You know, in other words, they had Marcello's confessions in the late 80s. Imagine how different things would have been, how different Oliver Stone's JFK movie might have been, if, if the FBI had made that public, but they didn't. And, and like I say, so that stuff is not even in the stuff to be released. I mentioned Miltier uh, talked about how JFK was going to be killed days before he did it. And, and that was recorded on Miami police informant uh, tape. FBI was sent one of their agents, Donald Adams, who I talked to, to investigate Miltier before JFK's assassination, days before JFK's assassination. And, 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 and it's okay to say now, because Donald Adams has passed away. He even did, did uh, your listeners may or may not know what a black bag job is. That's when the FBI illegally breaks into somebody's house. Well, Donald Adams did that with the approval and help of the sheriff there down in South Georgia, Quitman, Georgia, way down South Georgia. And, uh, and, and so Donald Adams wrote up a report uh, you know, took it specially to Atlanta, handed it to the FBI agent in charge there. That report on Miltier has never been released. Even Donald Adams, the guy who wrote the report, the former FBI agent who wrote the report, you know, and he had a distinguished career, was in the FBI. I think he retired from the FBI. Yeah, he couldn't even get it. And, and, and so that Miltier report, that's not in the pool of files that the archives and Biden can even draw from. So that so that's why I'm 95 percent certain that you know those files and others we're going to talk about shortly. Now now I'm not 100 percent sure though because Biden did something Clinton didn't do, Bush didn't do, even Obama didn't do, and certainly Trump didn't do. Joe Biden last spring pardoned Abraham Bolden which was an incredible and wonderful move that shocked everybody. 